Welcome to Vector, free Vector Graphics Editor. Let's open up an example file in Vector and see how it works. When opening the example file, we see that on the left toolbars are located all the tools available in Vector, and the right toolbar appears whenever we click any object that has background, water, or shadow properties. You can draw objects or shapes in Vector by clicking and drag and dropping them modifying the size. You can also draw the objects of a custom size by simply clicking around somewhere around the, can the working canvas and then the object is located of a uh, default size. You can change the size of a working canvas of that basically the place where we work and where we create graphic designs in the left bottom corner of the working space. You can do so in pages by selecting a page that you want to change the size of you can choose from different template sizes, let's say A4, or you can choose, for example, YouTube uploads template or LinkedIn banner template. It's especially useful when you don't really want to check what the size of a certain uh, graphic must be on Google and just choose an inv invector and it's guaranteed to be correct. You can choose uh, or change uh, the dimensions uh, in which the canvas size is determined in the right um, top corner uh, of the working space and you can switch between pixels, points, centimeters, millimeters, inches or feet. You can also choose the name of your project. Let's say, let's call it Vector. You can add or remove grid over here. You can also zoom and unzoom using your touchpad or your mouse and also using the controls inside the app. If you, if you need any help, you can click the help button here which will give you direct links to video tutorials, YouTube channel or the user guide of Vector. Whenever you need any help, you are uh, you would really find it over here. Or you can also reach out to our customer chat. You can create a new file by clicking that button that will take you to a brand new